It's Richard Bromwell here to talk about our huge, great big three-day December post-lockdown 2.0 auction. Now, because of lockdown, we've had a lot of items in for our November auction, which we've now put forward to our December sale, and a lot of stuff in for December, so we've gone to a whopping three-day auction, about 1,500 lots. So we're going to do a quick jog around, because there's so much to see. Um, so auctions on the Thursday and the Friday and the Saturday, the 4th, 5th and 6th, we've got Asian art, huge amount of Chinese and Japanese items, blue and white, carved ivory, famil rose, uh, root figures. Up through here, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat, and we've got a load of booze. We've got, this is, this is, a, this is one I certainly like to, to, to put on my uh, Christmas dining table. Just for myself, the uh, uh, Chateau Latour. The reason why I say just for myself, because sadly my wife has a sulfite intolerance, so she can't drink that. So I can buy that and enjoy that myself, all on my own, obviously. Uh, Famille Vert, Famille Rose. Japanese as well. We've got Amari. In through here, we've got a huge amount of silver canteens and spoons, basting spoons, and lots of great Chrissy Prezzies here. Trays and candlesticks round here. Uh, this is, uh, they're actually obviously on, they obviously ran the wrong way. We've got to get these hung up. We've still got to, still, <laughs> does it help? I don't know. Uh, these are a couple of Chinese scroll pits in the Asian art auction. The clever ones behind you will recognize these. We actually had these in our Devon Country House auction earlier on this year. Sadly, we didn't get paid for them, so they, they've come back in. Um, we've got the three, uh, the three amigos up here. We've got the wax and the composition ones. Ding dong, hello girls. Uh, down through here, this this is what I, these are great. These have come out of a Somerset Manor house, a set of four of these. Um, I think they're great. They look fantastic in my house. Obviously, I'm not going to buy them. Uh, they're in between sort of three and five hundred pounds. Uh, much better value than Jim Lawrence in my book. Down here, huge amount of silver plate. Down here, we've got a lovely little, uh, we actually had Truffle, the little dog. We actually put her in here and took a photograph of her little bed there. We've got shells. She sells, she sells by the she saw. Um, up here as well, we've got a huge, there's about 15 uh, snaffles or Charles Johnson Payne uh, signed prints. We've got skillets. We've got, this has come out of a garage and an uh, old cash register. Down through here, silver trophy cups, tantalus. Down here, more Asian bits and pieces. But come on, Phil, keep up, keep up. That's it. We're going to pop on through here. We've got a lot of clocks in the cell. We've got all these drop dial clocks, fusé. We've got barometers as well. Um, up through here, we've got, look at that. That's a huge library bookcase. A um, lot of interest in that. Um, it's covered behind thousands of toys there. Um, it's sadly, at the top and bottom is what we call an association. That's the polite word for uh, they don't go together. Estimate on that, just a matter of a few hundreds of pounds. A lot of interest up through here. We've got more cell room full of furniture the second cell room and reception that's all full of furniture as well huge amount of chairs we've got mahogany walnut pine oak you name it. we've got dining tables we've got desks we've got stools little pine cupboards obviously huge amount of sets of chairs we've got lots of lots of carpets lots of carpets and rugs um up through here we've got a this is a rather a, come on look at this, this is a, this is this is a this this is a happy bear because it's happy to see you. Look, Phil, there he is. Oh, hello, hello. Um, there you go. Up, up through here, we've got a lot of a uh, lot of militaria as well. Uh, clocks, a lovely, lovely bag chandelier there. One of my favourite clocks to sell is this one here, uh, which has come from uh, just up the road. Um, estimate on there between sort of five and eight hundred pounds. Unusual, unusual sort of a smallish size, um, sort of an in between from a long case and a dwarf long case. Through here, we've got. Um, if you want to go for the Rambo look, you know, we've got, we've got a couple of Rambo looks there. Loads of shells. We've got grenades, obviously all deactivated. And certainly, look at these. You wouldn't want to receive be on the receiving end of one of those. We've got loads of edged weapons. We've got helmets. We've got English. We've got German uh, through here as well. We've got more shell cases here. Again, you wouldn't want that landing on your living room uh, ceiling at the middle of the night, would you? Through here, more military and more deactivated items. We've got uniforms, more swords. We've got a, a French gladius sword here. Ha! Um, we've got more. We've got more helmets. Here we go. This is a. Uh, this always uh, takes you back to sort of to dad's dad's army. You know, Pike, Pike. Don't tell your name, Pike. So you've got loads of bits and pieces there. Um, over through here, we've got all in the clocks. We've got a lovely collection of uh, um, 
music box as well. This one uh, has been restored at a cost of about £2,500. It's unusual because it actually has, uh, it's an interchangeable cylinder. So there's actually uh, two more cylinders in the, in the bottom drawer there. It's in super condition. It's the sort of thing that in the days before you had your your, 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 iP your iPod and bits and pieces like this is this would have been the, certainly the mutts nuts. There we are. Even I could recognise this song. Uh, it's not quite a, not quite dramatic, quite, but I still like it. Um, down through here, we're going to pop on down back through past all the chairs and all the carpets and the rugs, pier cabinets. I think they've been breeding. We've got a uh, various. Hats, it's obviously a hat hat auction this time. Mirrors and bits and pieces, bedroom furniture, sideboards. Come and look at this film over here. What a huge, great big cast iron uh, mortar. Uh, I tried lifting that, but it's incredibly heavy. Too heavy for me. Down through here, we've got oak coffers, uh, card tables, Indian benches. I'm gonna pop into, into this little section here and have a bit of a chat about some of my favorite items. Again, over here, we've got about 60, uh, walking sticks all shapes and designs um this one uh this one is called um he's called dave named after a member of staff we've also got uh let's put him back carefully back in there he's in between sort of 100 and 150 pounds one of my favorites in the walking sticks is uh this one here this lovely little automata with a whack, 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 whack. there we are and uh, we've got a lovely walrus, which I've never seen one before, a walrus uh, walking stick as well. Isn't he absolutely, look at the detail, the carving on that. Estimate home is about a thousand pounds. We've also got uh, a very expensive walking stick as well. Uh, this one here, which I'm being particularly careful with. Um, this very fine walking stick is estimated between 18 and 20 thousand pounds not the sort of thing i need when i go hiking at the weekends and just put very very carefully back in there and again another another fantastic walking stick come and have a look at this sherlock holmes look at he's got his pipe his deer stalker hat and his magnifying glass what a wonderful i turn that around for you what a wonderful piece of carving estimate on that between about 1200 and 1800 pounds so a huge collection of walking sticks there they're coming up on the first day. We've also got a huge amount of silver. This is uh, one of my favorite pieces, this wonderful Victorian uh, silver mounted claret jug here. Can you see the wonderful decoration? It's probably uh, web glass on it here. Estimate on that about 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. Also for 1,000 to 1,500 pounds is this. This is a dog collar. So when I'm in the dog house, I, maybe, I should, maybe I should put on when I'm in the, which I'm in the dog house on a regular basis. It was a big dog. Now, we've obviously, uh, as you know, we lost, uh, lost uh, the wonderful Biggles um, last year. We've got Lady Truffle now, our miniature dachshund. It's about four times the size of her. So uh, this is a wonderful Victorian uh, dog collar, not of the clerical type here. And uh, it's got all these crowns around here. I'll come there, there's a name here, isn't there? We are. And you can see it's called Goth. The dog was called Goth. And this was uh, for Miss Cood of uh, Polypit Tamar, which is a big Victorian Gothic house down near Lanston. Um, Estimate on that about a thousand pounds. A lot of interest from America. They're big in their dog collars over there. Uh, big collection of coins to go with the military here. This is this is just a lovely set here. It's uh, it says what it is on the tin. It's a UK proof gold coin set. You've got a five pound, two pound, pound and fifty p, or double sovereign, sovereign and half sovereign. So combined value there we are of eight pounds fifty. Obviously, it's a lot more than that. It's probably between two and a half and three thousand pounds. So a lot of coins in the sale. We've also got a good selection of watches, and this is this is my favourite watch uh, in the sale. Lovely original condition. It's an Omega. It's an Air Ministry issue. It's Second World War period. Uh, it's modestly estimated between three and five hundred pounds. Look, there we are. And it's uh, is it moving or not? Not quite. Not. It tells the time right twice a day. There we go. And it's about three to five hundred pounds. But there's been a huge amount of interest in this. Uh, very very popular on uh, on social media we've also got our asian art sale um, i've got this here not because it's particularly valuable i mean it's all a little bit chipped here but this is a chinese export piece and what is unusual it's decorated with a european figure so painted on grisaille just for a little sort of sparrow beak little jug and cover there probably a hundred pounds bit more than a hundred pounds and rather like london buses you don't see one all year long and then two come along at the same time we have these two Chinese, I'll put that around the right way for you, sorry Phil, uh, red cinnabar lacquer boxes. Uh, uh, this, uh, they, they both come from clients in Somerset, here we go. Um, 
They're est both estimated between sort of two and three thousand pounds. Uh, this one lived in a cabinet and this one here lived under the bed. Um, there we go. So a little bit dusty or full of character as we like to call it. But we've also got about 350 lots of jewellery. Now in the jewellery section, we are uh, perhaps the, 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 the star piece is this whopper. Now it looks big even on my finger and that's what about 5.4 carat of pure diamond actually looks like. Estimate on that between sort of 25 and 30 thousand pounds. If you went out to replace that from an insurance perspective, it's going to cost you a six figure sum. So excellent value for money, if you say it quickly, which is what my wife has tried to say to me. Um, maybe a little bit more modestly estimated is this, again, a huge diamond tennis bracelet here. There's over 20 carat in this. And in comparison to this of five carat, the 20 carat plus um, tennis bracelet looks excellent value at about 15 to 18 thousand pounds. Now also in the sale, because it's our collector as well, we have a load of toys. And in here, this is one box of 45 boxes. You can see them all sort of stacked up here. This is, a, I think, best described as a lifetime collection of uh, model toys, which the, uh, the owner has amassed. Um, there's in excess of 3,000 die cast models. Now, when I went to go and see him in this house, um, uh, he had them all in cabinets and it took him a long time to take them out of the cabinets and put the 3094 models all back in their original boxes. Um, and again, these are estimated around about sort of a uh, sort of one to two hundred pounds uh, per lot. So there's a bit of a bit of a quick walk and talk jog through the one thousand five hundred lots coming up in our three day December auction.